Hello, cheapskaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. Just a really quick video um, today, simply because over the weekend, um, in conversation with a couple of different people, this actually came up. What was my number one rule of living the cheapskates way? I apologize if you can hear Lacey Dog barking in the background. She's playing with a toy over there. Anyway, so I thought, seeing as how it's been a topic of conversation over the weekend with different people, two totally different groups, not associated in any way, I thought I'd tell you what my number one rule of cheapskating is. And it is really simple. You might not like it, but it works. And it oh. is simply ditch the stuff that's not important to you so you have the cash to enjoy the things that are. Now, if you are a Cheapskates Club member or a newsletter subscriber or you've been, you know, watching our videos for a while, you'll have heard me say that before. I've been saying it for years and years and years. Ditch the stuff that's not important to you so you can have the cash to enjoy the things that are. It's a really simple rule and it works. Now, way back when disaster struck, we made a conscious decision. We realised that um, while a lot of the things that we did were fun and enjoyable, they weren't really all that important in the grand scheme of things for our family. And so we ditched them. We sat down and we decided we don't really, we don't really need to eat out every week. We don't really enjoy eating out every week. So we stopped eating out except for special occasions. And I'm pretty sure that we haven't eaten out in pretty well close to three years. Um, now, of course, pandemics helped a lot with that. But we just, it has to be really special to get us to spend a lot of money to eat out. It needs to be a really special occasion in a really good restaurant with great food and good company. Because otherwise it's just same old, same old. And we can do that at home. <laughs> So we stopped eating out. Another thing was um, within our circle of friends at the time, because we had little children, um, I stopped going to all the parties, parties that everyone was having that just encouraged everyone to spend money. The Tupperware parties, the toy parties, the clothes parties, the books, the educational um, toys and games and so on. I stopped going. I'd still got the invitations. So I'd just say, no, thank you. We went down to one car from two and we went down to an older car. We didn't update our cars every two years like we had been. You know, really, as long as the car we had was safe and roadworthy, we didn't need to update it every couple of years. That was purely a keeping up with the Joneses type of thing and we decided we didn't need to do that we're keeping up with other people and their expectations and their lifestyle wasn't really important to us so that was the defining action of living the cheapskates way for us it was when we realized that friends and family may be friends and family but they really weren't all that committed to um, our family problems and our situation other than on a very surface level you know we got it when when we lost our jobs and we had all you know disaster struck we got a lot of um, sympathy but we were still supposed to maintain our lifestyle 
so many people, so many friends, so many families, so many acquaintances didn't understand why we suddenly decided to say no to going to Smorgies for dinner on a Saturday night or why we wouldn't go away for weekends or why I would go shopping with them but not buy anything. Some of them still don't understand that we chose to use our money for the things that we really needed, really wanted, really enjoyed and not on the fluff, the stuff, the things that they want and enjoy. It changed the way we looked at money. It changed the way we looked at our lifestyle. It was, it was a defining moment for us and it put us back in control of our money. So that's my number one rule for living the cheapskates way, which is debt free, cashed up and laughing. Ditch the stuff that's not important to you so you have the cash to enjoy the things that are. You might have to sit down and think about it and really, you know, have a good hard look at your lifestyle. But I bet there's a lot in there that you do um, because friends are doing it or you have children in activities because the other children are in them. It doesn't matter that your kids are just in them. So, you know, sit down, take a few minutes and think about it and then decide, make a conscious decision to get rid of those things. It will free up so much money for you. Anyway, that was just my short thought for today. Before I go, Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. If you're not already a Cheapskates Club, um, Cheapskates Club member, if you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new video uploads or when we go live. And, you know, it helps YouTube. It helps our channel but more importantly it helps other people find us more easily and if we can help anyone understand that it is perfectly okay to live the cheapskates way in 2022 then that's going to put a smile on my face and I'm pretty sure it'll put a smile on yours too the other thing is if you know someone that might like this video or you think might like the message or need the message, there's a share button. Click that share button. It sends them a link. That's all they get. We don't harass them for anything else. So that helps us too. Happy cheapskating, everyone. Have a great day.